the useless crafter this is day two for snoopy if you caught yesterday's um tutorial it was still good but man it was a hot mess so and i should have known like i just wasn't feeling it i'm a big proponent of don't craft unless you're like in the mood i don't know yesterday i was feeling sluggish it was my birthday. I didn't want to do it. This was an old project. So, you know, it's January. I originally cut and did the design space tutorial back in early December. So it had too much time had passed. Anyway, what happened was I was missing a large piece right here. Um, my glue ended up splattering all over my project, which I want to show you. So tips and tricks or lessons learned. One, craft when you're ready. <laughs> when, you've, when you're not hungry, you're not stressed, you know, whatever. Um, ha craft when you're in a happy mood. Um, at least that's for me. Secondly, check your glue. So what happened was I had switched out my glue bottle. And you guys know I've been having problems with my wrist. I had to have my husband actually twist off the cap. I should have had my husband put on the cap. So I didn't put it on really well. I didn't test the glue. I just took it and went with it and it splattered everywhere. It looked like, and that's when I, you know, was like, we'll, we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> but the lessons learned though, this is, I wanted to show you. So Barely Art Glue, it is my favorite glue. I am on their design team. I was not a big glue person until I got on their design. Well, before I got on their design team, I started using it, liked it where I knew if I had to use glue, that was the glue I was gonna use, but I still stayed away from glue whenever I could. Now I actually use glue quite a bit um, just because I find that it's faster and easier for me. So, and I trust the glue more than I did before than before so okay um if you remember i splattered glue right around here and the reason why i know that is because there was enough glue that my sock got stuck on it um and i was able to peel it off but you'll be able to see the mistake right here so i got glue right around here you can't see it on the black because the glue does dry clear but if you remember, a big humongous piece came down on the red. This right here is, is the light. So I don't know if I should turn off the light right now, but that's not from the glue. But this is from the glue, and I'm going to try to hold it where you can kind of see it. It does dry clear, but you can see it compromised the glitter. So I knew that was, I mean, there was so much glue. I didn't even have to wait. I just figured it was not going to be good. So I recut it. So I just want to show you, let me see if I can get the light. Yeah, so you can kind of see in the light how much glue spilled down. It is still like if if you only, if I only had that piece there and there was glue on it, it's still gorgeous. It, it did not ruin the paper in that sense where I could still use it. It's still shimmery, but if there's any other piece to it, it's no longer the same. So that's why, you know, I wanted to cut it. I think you can kind of see it right there, um, how it changed it. So, all right. Um, and you can see a little bit, I mean, there was so much glue. I'm, this is, I'm not gonna blame Barely Art Glue on this. I mean, if you get that much glue down, it's, it, it's gonna mess up your project. But um, shockingly, like, I can see a little bit but it's gonna be covered right here, so I'm not redoing that black. It's actually completely covered and barely noticeable. So <laughs> that's a true testament to the glue. I mean, I would say, you know, on black, because especially black, I feel like you can see a lot of things. Like it, it's counterintuitive, but you, you know, black shows a lot of mistakes. So, all right, this is laid out. I'm gonna start gluing it. Everything is kind of, you know, What's nice about this pattern is that um, it's not even everywhere. So it kind of makes it easier to kind of place it down. Like it doesn't have to be um, perfect here. It's sort of like that whole Snoopy feel. So I love it. Um, he's really, really cute. This is the sock. I went with, in the picture that I bought, it was a darker green. I went with the light green. I also did a candy cane sock but I think that's too much white with the snow and Snoopy. I'm gonna keep it with the green. 
So I'm going to start gluing things down. Um, and I'm going to do one light. So the lights that I use, they're from Amazon. They're these little light um, bulbs, I guess, little balls. And what's cool is it's not always on. So this little white um, sticker paper, ticker paper, I don't know what you want to call it. When you pull it out, the light turns on. And if you put it back in, then it turns off. So what's cool about using this, I use it for cake toppers. I'm using it on this off the mat for the first time. So um, in my head, I think I have an idea of how to put this down, but for cake toppers, what's nice is it doesn't always have to be flashing. It will last a long time if you put the paper back in when you're when it's not in use. And so it's kind of nice that you can save it for, you know, for years to come. All right, let's get started. I'm gonna start um, gluing it down here. I feel like this is, you know, in, in place well enough that I'm gonna start gluing. Um, this white piece, which I'm gonna talk about a little bit later again, this is not part of the image, but I added this so that we can, you know, put it on the floor, prop on the table, prop it up against something um, because it's flat. Whereas if I took this out, you can see the end of this image is kind of curvy. It would not, this is, it's gonna be lopsided, right? It's not gonna be able to stand straight up. It's gonna to wanna to tilt down and have this tip touching the floor with Snoopy's feet. So then your barn is gonna, your little house is gonna be tilted. So I added this so that it has a flat piece to stay down. Um, so we will do that at the end. All right, let's get started with gluing. So if you remember, and I'll talk about the glue because I feel like it was such a um, a change in how I craft by adding glue to this. So before I would have taken each one of these pieces and I would have done, um, hold on, sorry. Let me look at this really quickly. This goes over a little bit more. Okay. Um, I would have done the double-sided tape using the Tombow adhesive. I still like it but um, I keep a lot of my pieces because they're either demo pieces or something that I wanted to try out. And I started to notice now in year two, some of my pieces are coming off using the double-sided tape. So I mean, two years is a long time, so I'm not going to, you know, um, lay blame or anything like that. But um, I, yeah, now I'm just leaning towards the glue and it's just faster. And now that I trust the glue, knowing that it's not gonna warp. So there's my glue. Turn it over. Oh, I put too much glue up there. I'm just gonna dab it to get it off. Holy, I put a lot of glue right there. It's a new glue bottle and it's coming out I don't know what I did with it. It's coming out a little bit more than I had expected. And it didn't help that I kept going. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll share some of the blame. All right, so let me move Snoopy a little bit while I can. Okay. Um, the other thing when I'm using the glue is, you know, it doesn't take that long to dry. And this project is like not, not in my favor. Um, I like to hold it down so that it glues in place and it doesn't pop up at all. So, and if you don't do this, I mean, I do this because it also gives me a chance to talk about things. Um, if you don't do this and you find that it popped up a little bit, it's nice to have the precision tip because you can squeeze in that glue and get it in there. But if you're worried about how much glue is coming out or like, it's still too tight. What I would do is, um, you know your little glue dots? I'll shrivel it up and make it really tiny and I'll jam it in there with like one of these tools. And then that will get it to stick. And it's okay to have some sticky pieces to it, right? Because the rest of it is glued down, so it's gonna stay down. All right, so that's down. I'm gonna put do the little white part of the socks and I'm gonna be more careful. This glue, it's a little bit more liquidy than I'm used to. And that could just be where I was storing it. I'm not sure. 
I may use it and I'm gonna test it out and I'll keep you guys posted. Okay. And I'm actually, I have a call with them later. I'm gonna ask them what's going on there. <laughs> if there's something that I'm doing, because I love the glue, I'm just, yeah, yesterday, um, whew, that was quite the blooper. I could not believe how much glue came out. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna do the tail. I'm just going piece by piece and putting it down. So this part is relatively easy, but right? Once you, um, is it this way? And you can kind of see like this is I like the drawing for for this whole image because it's sort of more like curvy and not so exact so like this tail this outline doesn't even look like it's right for this tail so it's kind of it's refreshing that it doesn't have to be so perfect sometimes we need it <laughs> I definitely need it this is my first project coming back from vacation we always you know do Christmas at my in-laws and we're there for quite some time so it takes me away from crafting and like just kind of out of my routine so sort of need this to get back into it all right I'm gonna start over here let this dry a little bit um so while I have your attention and we're just gluing this month, I'm actually gonna be at an expo. I'm like super excited, it's a convention. It's the Impressions Expo, and I'm gonna be there with um, with the Poly Tape booth. So it's HTV, and you know, I, it's kind of a funny story, and I've talked about it before. I really did not think I was gonna be such a paper crafter. Um, when I first bought my Cricut, I was thinking more of, well, it was my first Cricut. The Cricut Maker was my first Cricut. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Didn't really know anything about it prior to asking my husband, like, um, well, I didn't, I mean, that sounds horrible, like asking him. Um, I told him to get me a maker for Christmas thinking that, you know, because I never, I never have a good Christmas wish list, right? We, um, we've been together forever. So by now it's like, you know, anything that I need, I buy for myself. We buy it throughout the year. There's hardly anything left to really buy for birthdays and anniversaries and Christmas and stuff. So I was super excited when I saw the Cricut Maker. I, you know, thinking that like, oh, I finally have like a really good, Christmas wish list. Um, so I told him when it came out in August and he ordered it right away because he was like, you should just have it. Like, why wait till Christmas? So anyway, um, yeah, I kind of thought I was going to be more into, just because I was so naive, like that I was going to do like this big Etsy shop and personalize, you know, sweatshirts and t-shirts and stuff like that. I bought so much HTV. Um, I still have some of those <laughs> colors that I bought because I was like, you know, I bought everything in a roll because it seemed like, you know, that would be the most economical choice. And now I still have so much HTV. And the thing is, it's not even the HTV that I like because now I'm working with poly tape and I realize, you know, the there's a difference in the quality of your HTV and not so much I mean you would think like on the shirt you would feel it and you do don't get me wrong because I'm I'm actually gonna do a post on the backpack that I did but it just it blends in a little bit better um, but the other thing that I really that was important to me is actually how easy it cuts and weeds. So like if you have a really intricate design, sometimes, you know, depending on the, the color and the brand that you use, 
it doesn't always cut well and so then you can't weed it well like it just takes a while everything is you know difficult um if you like i use poly tape and it's it can cut and weed really intricate designs i actually did a test and i did a youtube tutorial so maybe you guys already know about it but i cut you know the word crafter and numbers at 0.15 inches so it's teeny tiny i did 0 0.15 0 0.2 and 0 0.25 inches which is a quarter of an inch right so these are tiny little cuts that i was doing i did the word crafter in um cursive so you know it was just like i was really testing it and it weeded in one pool so one easy piece and um yeah it was good so it really makes a difference anyway i'm like going down a rabbit hole i'm sorry i'm like gluing and just talking um so i'm gonna be at the expo for their booth showing how i use htv and you know i'm not a big htv person but i love using it with paper so of course i had to incorporate paper right so we're going to be doing this month an off the mat bell and i'm going to be incorporating htv where i can the other place that i find you know i love doing my wedding signs on you know the big um welcome to our wedding um signs on acrylic I haven't done a big sign um, using HTV, but I did a sign for my business, um, which I'll pull out in a second. I thought it was like a really clean look, and I know a lot of times people don't like doing vinyl on acrylic because of the bubbles. Actually, that's, I might spill it. See right here, it's coming up a little bit. I'm going to put that little blue dot, so let me find one so I can show you what that looks like. Um, but, um, yeah, so as I was saying, um, people like one of the problems with vinyl and acrylic is people get bubbles, right? And I definitely address that in my tutorials. Like I, there are a lot of things that you can do, not just one thing, but if you incorporate a lot of things, you can alleviate that issue. But, um, I, you know, if you use HTV, you wouldn't have any bubbles, right? Because you're ironing it straight on. What's nice about HTV too is that um, it allows you to fix things before you put the iron down, right? Whereas as opposed to adhesive vinyl, once you kind of place it, I feel like you don't have a lot of room to lift it back up and put it down and adjust, right? So, um... Okay, I don't know what's going on. I can't find any glue dots right now. I know, I'm still in vacation mode, right? Um, or maybe you think that's all the time and I'm just giving you an excuse. All right, I will do this later, but I would like roll up that um, little glue dot and stick it in right here. Let me, I, oh, I have it right here. I'm gonna pull, oh, here, oh my goodness. I had it on my desk. I was organized. <laughs> so these are Zots. And this is a medium one because I don't think I have any size smaller, but that'll be good to show you. So this is, it fits like almost my whole index finger. That's how big this is. So, all right, I'm gonna pull this out. And you can kind of see it's super sticky, right? And so I'm just going to do this, lift it up a little bit, put it down, and now it's flat, see? So um, that's always available as an option. All right, let's do this piece. So anyway, so we're going to be doing Bell, and we're going to be doing Bell three different images. So I'm super excited. We're doing um, Toddler Bell. We're doing... Um, teenage bell <laughs> like teenage punk bell kind of ish so I'm looking forward to that that's like a new it's a custom image so I can't wait to share that with you guys and then um, and then we're doing regular bell that the, the classic bell that we've seen which technically she was still a teenager right but um, she seems older there right all right I want to talk about this piece 
you see right there, this was too long, I had to slice it. So we tape it right here. I like to tape it because I want it to be as you know close and um, intact as possible. And then we're gonna glue, glue it down. But look at when, when it's taped together, this is Ground Up Creations um, red glitter paper, which I love. It's 300 GSM, it's thick paper, it's beautiful. You can see how much it shimmers here. It photos really well. Now, can you kind of see where the line is? It's right here. When it's not straight, you can kind of see where the seam is, right? So that's why it's really important to have it flat and glue it down because when it's straight down like this, the light doesn't catch any of the, the seams, so you don't notice it at all. So you can't see it at all on this piece. So that's what I love about red glitter cardstock. So kind of know your materials, know where you can make your seams. And I'm gonna show that with here too. We're gonna to do the same thing with this piece because this piece was so long. All right, so here I'm going to put glue down. Now where the seam is, I usually like to do a piece of tape, okay? And I'll, well, I almost went over. Um, I'm gonna do that with the Zots again because I want it super sticky, super flat in that part. So I'm actually going to put this down. All right. So because I have that down, I am not gonna be able to really make adjustments to this. So I need to get this right kind of the first time, okay. All right, so completely honest opinion. Once I've put this down, I cannot see the seam at all. I have to feel it. So I feel it right here, but I, um, it is seamless. This piece is seamless, okay? All right, let's work on this piece. So whenever you slice pieces like this, like I said, I recommend that you tape it first so that it is up next to each other as much as possible. Okay, so I'm gonna flip this over and we're gonna tape this together. And just the way that I would tape the black background, I want to lift this up, push it against each other, make it as seamless as possible. Okay, so that's down. I wanna put a zot, right, or yeah. Let's see, I have some extras out here. Okay, and the rest can be glue. And you know, like pieces like this, I almost find that it's easier to do a little sticky piece. Oh man, I almost ripped that right there. Super, super delicate. All right, so I'm gonna turn this over. and just kind of hold it down to make sure that it's, the glue is drying flat with the paper. Okay. And there, okay. So keep in mind this right here is the, my light. So it's not that the paper is funky right there. Okay, so this is all down. This was a piece that I was missing yesterday. I still need to tape that together. We'll tape it later. Same as this piece right here. Okay. So let's turn over to here. And we're gonna, 
is this piece one piece? Oh shoot, this piece is one piece as well. So it goes like this. Okay, so because I didn't do it before, I didn't realize that that piece was there. See, this is what happens when you um, when you take too long to do a project. You forget all the like, all the little intricate pieces that, you know, your ideas. So okay, I'm gonna put this down. I put glue right there to make sure that um, I mean the tape right there to make sure that it's gonna be super sticky and flat. So I'm gonna put this up against here. Okay. All right, let's put Snoopy into place here. I'm gonna do something like this. He's gonna be a little bit off-centered, but the reason is because I spilled glue right there. <laughs> So I'm gonna put it like that. I don't think it matters. No one's gonna notice. Um, but you know what? Because this piece is so delicate, I'm actually going to do, let's see. I'm gonna put a piece of tape down there. Just so, what am I doing? Where is my thing? Here it is. I'm gonna do the Zots. Because I feel like that thing is going to be flopping too much for me to handle with care and with the glue. So I'm going to do this. It's so delicate right here. It's like barely together. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to lift this up. Sometimes you just have to improvise like that. <laughs> How you put your pieces down. I feel like after a month of moving these pieces around, this little guy right here would have just came, you know, come off. So, all right, he is down. This little piece. Okay, we're getting there, we're getting there. This one right here. I'm going to put a little zot down. So many things going like not exactly the way I planned it. <laughs> okay, there. So you can see like everything's down. It helps to have those little zots wherever you need it to. Um, okay, so I'm not putting down these lights just yet because those are easy to put down. Let's put down his ear. So this is the file It had some cutouts that I didn't close up. So from Snoopy, the rest of Snoopy, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna need to tape him from behind because he fits in perfectly like that. We'll do that at the end, okay? Um, his nose we'll do at the end as well. Okay, let's do these pieces and just keep moving up. So let's 
so cute. I'm going to move this to the side. I'm going to pull this down. And this is why, you know how sometimes the images are like this? This one, for whatever reason, there must be like a little slit somewhere. It didn't let me close up this image, and I thought, it's just the head. It's for me. I'm trying this out, so I didn't bother covering it. But you can kind of see now, like, how it's more difficult because when you're moving things and just like how to put it down, I'm gonna need to tape this from behind as opposed to all these pieces where we just glued straight on top. So I know a lot of times we get the SVG file and it looks like this, right? It's just like the black is an outline and I always say go to contour and hit hide all so that you get a solid background that you can you know, put all your pieces on top of. So I'm gonna move this down Okay, we're going to continue putting this, gluing this down piece by piece, right? Okay. Um, so, you know, it's the new year, right? Um, if you want to put in the comments in this video, let me know what you want to see, characters that you want to see, themes that you want to see, um, projects that you want to see. So not necessarily you know, an off the mat or a cake topper. And um, when I did my top 10 favorite projects uh, of 2021, I did that at the end of December. Um, I realized like how many different projects we've done together. And, you know, it was quite a range, right? Like sometimes you feel like, oh, I didn't do as much as I wanted to or whatever. But when I put that together, I realized, oh my gosh, like we did a ton of projects and like really different things. Like I didn't even pick my top 10 projects. I picked my top 10 favorite types of projects so that, you know, when, when we got to off the mat, I was able to do like a ton of characters to remind you guys all the ones that we've done. So just, you know, a really cool feeling of accomplishing so much, so. But anyway, whatever you want to see, <laughs> I am, gosh, all over the place. Um, it doesn't have to be a character, right? It could be a type of project was my point, my lengthy, lengthy point. Okay. And also, I, I think that, like, the audience you guys out there watching I think it's kind of split pretty evenly between crafters that sell and then crafters that just want to craft and do these fun things so if you're a crafter that sells or a crafter that is thinking about selling I did have a YouTube kind of just like what kind of advice I would give I mean advice that I would have given myself which to be fair, my husband gave me a lot of that advice that I didn't follow and then realized he was right. <laughs> Darn him. <laughs> but sometimes, you know, it doesn't matter like if you hear it from someone close to you. Maybe if you heard it from someone further from you, you'd listen. But um, yeah, that was kind of, you know, it's always good to reflect and you know, for me, like I've already passed that stage, but I could still definitely take some of that advice and apply it to other things like other steps in my career. Okay. And with the glue, I kind of like that too. If you saw me make that minor adjustment, because the glue dries clear, I didn't put glue on the whole piece, you're still able to make some adjustments to it. So I definitely like that. I, you know, you can still make adjustments as well with this because until you press down, there's still like, it's sticky, but there's still room for you to make the corrections. Okay. I think all those are down except for the lights. So we've got this piece here. We're almost done. So I'm gonna do one light and then I'm gonna end the tutorial. I'm gonna do the rest on Instagram Live. And then I've got one more tutorial on this is once we put all the lights on, 
we need to do the foam board and that one's going to be trickier this time so i will do a tutorial on that um. and sometimes i'll do that so that i don't have to hold it down So you know I have my issues with my wrist. I don't think I put enough glue there. Um, I'm gonna put this down right now because I don't want to be bending over here. Have you guys seen this mouse? It's like a gamer's mouse. So it sits flat like this. Oh my gosh, I'm surprised at how much I love this. <laughs> so if you're having wrist issues, um, take a look at that. That's on my Amazon shop. I definitely, I've been using it. The other thing is like, I was kind of surprised because I don't play video games or anything like that. And I feel like I'm a slow adapter. This thing within like less than a minute, I was able to use it and I was comfortable with this position. And it just makes your hand lay flat. Passing that along before you have wrist issues because I am dying with my wrist issues. Okay. So that's down. We're almost done here. We've got just like a few more pieces. And I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna take off these lights for now. Because these are easy to put up. So I'm gonna move all of these. Just so they don't fall off and then I end up missing a piece. I'm gonna move this and his face. Take that off. Let's put, we have two more pieces here. done and then I'll pick it up so that you can kind of see what it looks like and this one's a big a big off the mat because we did it 30 inches which is you know the normal size the typical size that we do but um, it's wide too right so it's almost like a 30 by 30 inch square which makes it so much bigger than like a 30 inch slender princess so all right I'm gonna move that I'm gonna pick this up this part is going to be a little bit loosey-goosey. So I'll put my face through. I mean, this is how big it is, right? So it's a great sign. All right, I'm going to keep it flipped over because we're going to put Snoopy's face on, right? So this is what it's going to look like. And we're going to need to tape this from behind. So... Um, scotch tape. And once we have this on foam board, this part won't be an issue anymore, right? And then I gotta put his little I in like that. Okay, I think he's almost in. And then while he while this is flipped over. Let's also put that last light piece on over here. And also because this is gonna be just a light fixture right here, I'm gonna go all the way to the edge 
to make sure that it's really taped down so it's not um, moving at all at the edges. Okay, and I'm gonna finish this piece right here as well while we're flipped over. Okay. Okay, so now it's pretty cute. Okay, so let's put some lights on. Let's put all the, the silver pieces down because we know we're not gonna cut into that. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, on this one, I'm not gonna have it flickering because it's too light. I don't think it's gonna be able to hold my light. So maybe we do like every other one flickers. Um, so let's, yeah, let's glue down these silver pieces and then we'll work on one light. And I love like the silver glitter paper. This one's so pretty. This I got from Joanne's open stock. It's actually 12 by 24 paper. It is absolutely gorgeous. If you remember, let's see, I think it's Canary. Um, I did the outline, like the sign with this. It's just, it's extra. It's more than just um, glitter paper. You can kind of see it's chunky. It's so pretty. It's absolutely one of my favorites. Okay. And I know not all Joann's is going to have that. Let's put down this nose right here. I'm almost wondering if the nose should like pop up a little bit. I'm going to put... A little foam dot. And put glue down as well because I am always paranoid that it's not sticky enough. All right, here we go. So cute. Okay. Um, Am I the only one that gets these spam risk calls? <laughs> I swear my cell phone is right here. I get it like multiple times a day. I'm on the do not call list, not helping. <laughs> All right, um, let's see, we're almost done. I wish, you know, like I wanna do, oh, that one's not gonna be good. This one, the light, I forgot to close out, so that's gonna have to be taped from behind. Um, let's see if I can tape it from behind. Okay, so that's down. I think we have just two more. Okay, we've got one right here, one right here. Um, I knew I had an extra one, okay. Oh, there's a small red piece that goes there. Found it. Okay, let's see. Is it like that? Mm. I think it's like that. Okay, let's glue this down. Oh, 
you didn't see that. <laughs> My bad. There we go. <laughs> Um, and one more piece right here. Where's my extra piece? Mm. Oh, like I lost it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this project. Okay, here we go. All right, so that we are done. We're going to do one light. And I'm going to show you how I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to do a hole punch right here. And let me think about this. I have, I don't, I don't know if I'll be able to. Oh, I think I can get it all the way in there. Okay. I'm going to move this. Oh, you know what? I don't think I can. No, it's not going to go in there. Um, I might have to do it with an X-Acto knife. Okay. So I'm going to do it right about here. Just enough for the for the light to shine through, and then where's my little light bulb? Here we go. I'm gonna take this out and take th so that we can see the light, okay? And it's gonna be like this. Oh, that's good, right? Okay, so I'm gonna flip this over. We're gonna glue it down. Let me turn on my glue gun. Let's, um, hmm, how are we going to want to glue this piece down? I'm going to put glue on just the edges. This is super, you know, it's super light paper, so I'm not going to put a lot of glue. You can see it's barely there. And worst case, we can always double up if it's, you know, if it doesn't dry well, you can always do another layer. And on this layer, maybe we could do, let me try the, the you know what I'm going to do, let me see. I'm going to try this. Yeah, you can't see the double-sided tape. I'm gonna put this over. Okay, and then let's turn this whole thing over. My glue gun's still going. Um, let's do two of them so that we have both right here. So I'm gonna do, again, a little hole. And because I have a cut right here already. I'm just gonna use this. Okay, so we're gonna do two of them. And on this one, let's do, let's just use this. So you can kind of, you can see the double-sided tape on this one. So I'm wondering if, shoot, I'm gonna have to do all red, red lights or a different color volume paper. Um, 
I'm going to do it on this one as well. But I think with the lights, it's going to be okay to have red on red. All right. I'm excited for this. This is going to look good. All right, let me get another light bulb. So they come in a huge pack. All right, so this is going to be good. All right, I'm going to flip this over. And I'm going to close out my glue right now on this one. This looks so cute right now. So excited about this. Okay. Flip it over. Oh, and you know what? We want to add that um, snow piece. So let me take down this a little bit more so it doesn't get caught up in anything. Um, okay. So with the light, we're going to want the this part to be sticking up so that we can add the lights to it. And then let's put, we need to put enough glue of the hot glue gun around so that this will stick and stay like this. Just waiting on the glue gun while that is going. I don't want to do this on this side because knowing my luck, it'll be crooked. So <laughs> we'll flip this over and do it in just a second, okay? Um, all right, vellum paper or vellum paper, the lights, <laughs> my ergonomic um, mouse, it's all on my Amazon link, so you can find it there. And then ground up creations the glitter paper you can also buy on amazon or you can buy straight from their website if you buy from their website which you know i haven't looked at the prices between amazon and their website but on their website i do have a discount code so okay my glue gun's hot enough i'm going to i'm just putting a glob of glue down so that this can stick. And I'll do it on this one as well. I'm just gonna wait a little bit to make sure that it's sticking. But you can see the lights. In person, it's a brighter light than what I'm seeing on my TV, you know, my monitor over there on what I think you're seeing. Okay, I think it's down. Yay! <laughs> it's kind of faint. I'm wondering what we should do. I mean, you see it's blinking. I'm wondering if it's because if it's far away, then I'll just look like the whole bulb is blinking. Um, it's still pretty cute though, huh? <laughs> All right, let's put on the snow piece so that it can stand and then I'll put it on the back and so for you to see it. All right, let's make sure that this I think I might do it something like this. So, all right, let's do, how should I do this? All right, I'm gonna glue down Snoopy from his legs right here. If we glue enough down, we can turn it around and glue some more. Okay. 
And then we're gonna have the foam board, so the foam board will make it, you know, more stable. Can you see it? Oh wait, hold on. No, this way. It's pretty cute. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna finish this up on the live. Hopefully you'll be there. And then um, I'll do the foam board as a tutorial on YouTube. All right, thank you for your patience. I know, it, the bloopers are good, right? Because then you can see how things happen and how we fix it. All right, I will see you guys next time.